welcome back to Vince Fell Customs. So today we're doing a garage kit review on a Wolfpack Jubilee that was uh, sculpted by Eric Sosa and Yusef Sedetti. I think that's it. I'm sorry, I'm doing this in the garage. It's kind of like a shoot from the hit video trying to do a review because I really want to catch up on a lot of the projects. I'm not going to go crazy doing like uh, an in-depth review because uh, by now I'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen these kits uh, painted up. Uh, there's only uh, 30 of them made. Um, so it's kind of just give you an idea of what I'm doing with the kit and trying to show you some parts. I looked it over real quick. Uh, it's really good sculpt. Uh, if you're, you know, a Jim Lee Jubilee fan, this is kind of like the Holy Grail. It pretty much looks like she stepped out of the comic and it should be pretty much, you know, fun to paint up. So she comes with three heads. We have the legs, uh, you know, we have the torso, we have the hips, the hands, the trench coat, bubble gum earring stuff and glasses and it's pretty much everything's here now to go over a few things uh the way it's worked out is everything is uh separated so personally looking over this kit what i will be doing is i'm taking out the magnets in this uh legs i'm taking out the magnets in the boots and i'm going to make sure that these are attached even when i paint them up you know i'm going to get them all painted up i'm going to attach them and they're going to be nice and solid and I'm also going to attach it to the hip as well. So as you can see, this is kind of like the leg. Now, I personally don't like the magnet. See how that's kind of loose? You know, one day if you go to lift her up and you grab her the wrong way, you know, this come and pops out, then that falls and that falls and you kind of start nicking up your item. So the idea is her uh, hips, her legs, and her boots are all going to be attached to one piece. So that's going to be one solid piece when I'm done. Uh, from there, uh, we have the trench coat. Uh, now they magnetize the back of the trench coat and from what I've heard from my friend and he told me that a couple other people What happens is, is if you try to put this item in here and you paint this and you try to make this removable See I, I would scrape all that paint. And it would all look like messy as all hell So what's what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this piece one solid piece when I'm done uh, or I'm, It's going to be kind of hard. I think maybe what I'll have to do is I'm going to paint it up and then what I'm going to do is uh, I'll paint it all up I'll make sure I had the magnets removed and then what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll take some A's or glue or whatever and I'll probably shove it in there and I'll put this piece in and then what I'll do is I'll make this piece uh, solid together and then what I might have to do is kind of like do a little bit of seaming or something and kind of clean it up any scrapes or whatever and then this piece will leave magnetized to go in and out of the hip so this way you remove this piece and you remove this piece and these are two solid different pieces so that's what I'm going to do there. Now looking at her arms and uh, her gloves, basically I'll leave these magnetized because I think you don't really need to, you know, pop these out uh, as long as nothing breaks or whatever. So all in all, I think that works out pretty well like so. So we'll leave those magnetized. Uh, that'll be fine to do that. And one of the other cool things too is when I pulled this apart with her trench coat, there's the, you know, the belt buckle. I thought I would have to add magnets, but they already add magnets, which is awesome. So that's a really good, uh, nice touch that they did. So I don't have to, I could paint it and basically just add it there and that's it. We're done. So that's pretty much that piece. Now, one last thing. If this kit was going to be like supported on one little ankle and this leg was up and all your support of everything was on this ankle, I would actually take out this rod and what I would do is I would dremel through here and I would dremel through there and I would dremel through here and I would add a square peg rod all the way up here. Uh, because I never like just a little ankle supporting an item without a rod because this rod only goes that far. There's no way this rod goes all the way up here. But because she has two feet going in here, there's no reason that I have to take this out and do that because these two legs are pretty much straight on and it would support it no problem and there's a lot of meat in this ankle. So that's okay with that point. Uh, but like I said, otherwise I would do that. Uh, we have the little uh, rubber pieces that go underneath the base. We have the sticker for the bottom of the base. We have the bubble gum, which is clear resin that goes onto this head. And then we have two heads that are exactly the same. At least that they look exactly the same. So I think what they did is, so you have three glasses. You can have one with one color glass, another one with another color, and another color. Because I guess Jubilee has different color glasses. But we have a special, uh, thing in mind to see if this works with the glasses. We'll see if that happens. I'm waiting for the items to come in the mail. We'll see how that works out. Now, the last thing is, I guess right here, 
This little piece is her chest piece, which I thought was broken, but what it is actually is when you put the jacket on her, that would hit that. So therefore, uh, that's why it was kind of broken like so. Hopefully you guys can see it in the thing. And I guess all these little pieces are her earrings. I think they're her earrings, or unless they go somewhere else. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna have to look over Jubilee uh, for when I work on it. But all in all, straightforward kit. What I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna grab my alcohol, put on some rubber gloves, and I'm gonna wash it all down. Get all the residue off the items, clean it all up, make sure there's no any uh, hand stuff, and then I'm gonna prime it up, and then I'm gonna start working on it. Uh, once I get it all primed up, it's nice and primed, and the primer's really bonded to it pretty well, and things are going good, that's when I'll start popping out the magnets and planning out this stuff, and then hopefully I'll have it primed up and I'll start painting. So that's Jubilee uh, from Wolfpacks. That's uh, pretty much my little uh, kit review. I know it's not the best, but I wanted just to show you guys before I started working on it. So hopefully in a month or two from this video, we'll have her all done, and we'll see how she looks, how I paint her up at the end. So thanks for watching and we'll be back with some more videos.